Okay, in this video I'm going to look at polynomial division, another topic that you should have seen before, um, and I'm going to show you how to divide 9x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 by 3x minus 2. So, first of all, we look at how many 3x's go into 9x cubed. Well, that will be 3x squared, because 3x squared times 3x is 9x cubed. Then I multiply the 3x squared by both of those terms, so I get 9x cubed, and 3x squared times minus 2 is minus 6x squared. Draw a line and perform a subtraction. So I get 9x cubed, take away 9x cubed is 0. 2x squared take away minus 6x squared is plus 8x squared. Bring the minus 3x down, and then look at how many 3x's go into 8x squared. Right, well this is where fractions start coming. 3x's into 8x squared, so 8x squared divided by 3x is 8 thirds x. Then I multiply the 8 thirds x by both of those two terms. So 8 thirds x times 3x is 8x squared. 8 thirds x times minus 2 is minus 16 thirds x. Draw a line, perform a subtraction. So I get 0 there. Now I'm going to have to bring in my calculator. We've got minus 3, take away a minus 16 thirds, so plus 16 thirds which is 7 thirds, bring the 5 down, then I've got 7 thirds x divided by the 3x, so um, I'm going to get 7 ninths, multiply the 7 ninths by both of those terms, so I get 7 thirds x, uh, then I've got 7 ninths times minus 2 is minus 14 ninths, draw a line, perform a subtraction, 5 take away minus 14 ninths is 5 plus 14 ninths, which is 59 ninths. Okay, so that has performed the subtraction. Uh, here is my result, and here is my remainder. So this would allow you to write, well, what I started off with was 9x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 over the 3x minus 2. Okay, I can now rewrite that as 3x squared plus 8 thirds x plus the 7 ninths plus 59 ninths over the original quotient 3x minus 2. And that allows you to rewrite it in this format, which would then allow you um, to integrate it if you wanted to integrate it or differentiate it more easily. Um, but that is the process that you can go through. And you can use polynomial division to do that. And you can use polynomial division in this way when you have the power, the highest power on the top of the fraction, uh, being larger than or equal to the largest power on the bottom. So because I've got an x cubed on the top and an x on the bottom, polynomial division is going to work. If it was the other way around, I cannot do it. I can't do uh, 3x minus 2 divided by a cubic. Okay? It doesn't work that way. And that's where we would have to start using partial fractions. And those videos are coming later.